All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. This is going to be a pretty good video. There's a great concept that I'm going to be able to show you in this video when it comes to selling options. Keep in mind, this is part of our live account. I've been recording videos currently every day. Oh, and the birds are tweeting. I'm outside, those of you who don't know. I am at an Airbnb traveling right now. I'll be here for a little while. Then I have a conference to speak at this weekend. And then I'll be, yeah, I'll be at an Airbnb for another week. And then I'll be doing some land development stuff here in Texas before I make it my way back home. Anyway, so if you hear some wildlife in the background, that's what's going on. So today we're going to show you something very interesting. The, a lot of times when it comes to selling options, what the concept I'm going to show you, a lot of people struggle wrapping their head around. But if you've been following my entire series, you're getting, you're getting to watch this in real time as opposed to me just trying to explain it to you. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Let's quickly look at the price. We're trading options on Ethereum. We're selling options on Ethereum. And as you can see, since yesterday, the price has pulled back a little bit, right? We're under 3,000. At one point, I think we were at 3,050 yesterday. And so we've pulled back to under 3,000. Let's look at how this is affecting our options portfolio. So we're over here on Lira. By the way, let me say this. No, none of this is financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm a very biased cryptocurrency YouTuber. I believe in the future of this technology. And I believe this technology is can truly transform the world. And for those of us who get in early enough, if this becomes a world changing technology, those of us who get in early enough are going to do very, very well. Okay. Also, this is not sponsored content. I will always let you know if content is sponsored in uh, any video that I put out. This is not sponsored. If you appreciate that transparency and that honesty, do me a favor and smash that like button. Okay. Lyra, I do have an affiliate link in the description, but again, they're not sponsoring this video. If you come over here to portfolio, this is where we're at. A couple things to notice. The portfolio value has dipped a little bit right here. And it hasn't moved a lot. I can't remember where we're at yesterday during our video, but we haven't moved a lot since then um, at all. But our options positions are doing significantly better. So this is the, the concept I want to show you today is the difference in collateral value and portfolio value. As an options seller, you don't pay as much attention to your current portfolio value ever. Most option sellers don't even consider the portfolio value. They only consider the collateral value. You'll hear option sellers oftentimes say, you know, I don't lose money selling options or I rarely, you know, have a uh, losing month selling options. But if you saw their portfolio value line, you would see that it goes all over the board. But the reason they say they're, they're not losing money is because they know when their options expire, they get to keep all the collateral and they're only concerned about the collateral because as an option seller, you're always selling options where statistically you're going to win. So it's only when the the few chances that the odds go drastically against you that you can have a loss. And there was obvious ways to minimize those losses. You guys have been watching me do that the past, you know, since probably day three of this journey. So let's come down here and take a look at a few things. So when, if you notice, we have more buying power than we did yesterday. I think in yesterday's video, we only had 26 or maybe it's 2,600 that we had yesterday or 2,700, maybe it's even 2,800 buying power, I forget, that we had yesterday. But we're now it's up to $2,900. How can we have $2,900 in buying power, even though we see that, you know, the, the portfolio value line has started dropping? How can this happen? Because... These options are getting closer to their expiration date, which means the what happens is the they start releasing your margin essentially for each position. And so we're actually our, our overall positions are improving and we're getting more buying power back. Now, if you remember yesterday, we had kind of two options we were watching that were in a little bit of trouble. Let's take a look at where they're at right now. 3830. This is a 38 call that we sold on August 30th or expiration date of August 30th. I don't know if you just heard that. Someone just hit a golf ball. I'm right in front of, I think it's hole nine here on a golf course. Anyway, so let's go to options. Let's go to August 30th. Let's go to calls, 38. So the price should be moving away. And you can see that our delta is reflecting that. At one point yesterday, our delta was up to 25. Right now it's 21 because the price is moving away from that strike price. So our delta is going down. Keep in mind the delta is roughly the probability that this option ends in the money, which we would take a full loss on. 
but it's only got a 21% chance of that happening now. This has actually improved for us. This is really, really good for our portfolio so far. Of course, we want it to continue to go down. Let's come over here and go look at this other position. Right here, this position here, the 26 put, which is below the market, and we sold that, expires on the 26th. I think that's in like two weeks. So let's come over here. The 2626 is what I call it in my head. And it's a put because it's below the market. 2626. 26. And it's only a 0.16 delta. Now, that delta has gone up a little bit from yesterday. But it's okay. It hasn't gone up significantly. I think at one point we were at 0 0.14, 0 0.13, um, a 13. And now it's sitting at a 17. I'm not worried about it a great deal. If the market keeps dropping and we have a 2%, 2.5% market, I'll come in and watch this. It'll probably get up to about a 20 delta. But I'll keep an eye on it. One thing about options to be aware of, the closer you are to expiration, the more dramatically the delta can move. So, And that has to do with the correlation to theta and theta decay. But you don't have to worry about that. It's just know that the closer you get, the more dramatically it, it can move. Now... There comes a point where, you know, when you start getting down to like a 0 0.05 and you got like three days, the market would just have to swing so hard against you. But typically when you're further and further out, the delta moves a, a, a bit slower. So you'll notice that the July 26th delta seems to move a little bit more than the August 30th delta with the price movement of Ethereum. Now they have an inverse relationship. This is a put. The 30th is a 30 call. So it doesn't, or what is it, 38, 30, 38 is a 38 call. So take a look at this. Just if we were, if the expiration was here, that 38 call would be 0 0.09. But one week later, I'm sorry, a one month later, it's that 38 call is 0.21. So obviously when there's more time for it to move, it increases the odds that it could end out of the money. All right, so what are we going to do today? Um, not a whole lot. We're going to sit and hold. And the reason that I'm not going to do a whole lot is in case, keep in mind, I had to roll these options out. I had to manage them because they were losers for a moment. So I had to manage them. I'm just going to sit right here. I'm not going to do a whole lot. Um, maybe if my buying power gets up to about 4,000, I'll do something. I'm going to hold it for a couple of days to see where the price goes because either one of these could end up needing to be managed at some point and i want to have more buying power available to be able to potentially sell more options further out to get my uh, collateral back keep in mind we're focused on managing our collateral all right thank you so much if you have any questions put them down in the comments this has been day six selling options in my real account with lira our goal is to be able to earn a thousand dollars a month we're not on track to do that this month but i'm not worried about it overall the position is great we don't have a tremendous amount of risk to our collateral so you know, we got $20,794 right here. We're going to be making some money back. These um, are going to be expiring next Friday. And when they expire, I'll definitely have some collateral available to make some more trade. So we should end up, I'm suspecting we'll have end up the month positive. I just don't know how positive it will be for the month. But with, and I think that's great with all the, think about it, Ethereum dropped by like 15% and our $20,000 portfolio is down, um, well, we started out 20822 So technically from there, we're down, what, 28 bucks, when most people are down 15%. And now, of course, we would love to be making money, but we're only down 28 bucks on our position. That's the advantage to being able to sell options um, in many cases. All right. Thank you so much for watching. This is Crypto Wealth. I'm out.